Good evening. Welcome to Australia's Most Wanted. I'm Roger Clipson. Tonight, hello, I'm Mark Holsworth. I'm the author of, my, of The Picasso Ransom and other stories about art and crime in Australia. I'll continue with Australia's Most Wanted. Channel 7's Australia's Most Wanted followed the same format as America's Most Wanted. Graphic crime scene reenactments interspersed with on-camera interviews. Its host, silver-haired newsreader Roger Clipson, urged viewers to call a toll-free number with information. It led to one arrest per episode. One time, the arrest happened the day before the program was broadcast. That episode was about a robbery in, Mel in the Melbourne suburb of Turak on Wednesday afternoon, June 15, 1988, at the home of Sam Smorgan. Q crime scene reenactment. Sam Smorgan, a member of Australia's most wealthiest families, leaves home with his family for an unplanned trip to the farm. They hadn't set the burglar alarm, as Jorge Martin, their 58-year-old housekeeper, remained at home. Just before three o'clock that afternoon, Jorge Varka was in the backyard. She saw that she was not alone. Three men and a woman were on the property. One man pulled out a gun. They took the terrified housekeeper into the kitchen, tied her to a chair, and gagged her. The robbers loaded jewelry, antiques, oriental china, vases, and other items into Smorgan's yellow jaguar and drove off in it. The value of the loot was between $1.5 and $2 million. It included Japanese woodblock prints, works by French Impressionist Camille Pizarro, and notable Australian artist Charles Condor, John Percival, Arthur Boyd, Ray Crook, Roy DeMester, and William Dobell. Yorkovaka managed to free herself two hours later and called the police. She could describe the robbers, including making an identical image of one of them. Two days later, Sam Smorgan's Jaguar was found abandoned and empty. A year later, Tom Silver, an art dealer from Bondi, bought two Dobell paintings for $76,500. That's about $164,000 today, but actually, you know, I don't know the actual price of the Dobells. When Silver sat down to watch television a day or two later, the two Dobells were fresh in his mind. During the ad break, a promo rang for an episode of Australia's Most Wanted about the Smorgan robbery, and there were the two Dobells he had just bought. Silver put a VCR, a tape in the VCR, pressed record, and waited for the next time the station ran the promo. The square-faced man with a shock of grey hair who sold the two Dobells to Silver first introduced himself as Murray Newton. It turned out his real name was Murray Farquhar, the disgraced former Chief Magistrate of New South Wales.